Welcome to Library Storytime. So glad you could join me today. Well, it's the month of February, and February still brings cold weather, snow, still winter, but a bright spot in February is February 14th, and that's Valentine's Day. It's so fun to make and it's so fun to receive Valentine's. So today, our story time will be about love and Valentine's and for your craft this coming week, and you can pick it up at the Reader's Theater, is make a Valentine. Now, first you can make a little Valentine picture, and you'll have tissue paper you can scrunch up or you can use it however you want. You'll have some foamy stickers to put on there. Some of your package. You'll have some uh, valentines like this. You'll all have this, but I'll try to throw in some other things so you can make several valentines. So come pick that up and have fun. It's fun to make your own valentines and it means a lot to the people that you give them to. They know it came from your heart. So that will be our craft. So welcome. And our first story today is by Debbie Gliori. And it's No Matter What. This is Mama. And Mama Fox in the book is called Large. And Small Fox is the baby. He's called Small because he's small. And then the mama's large. So large and small, no matter what. And I also have a few little masks to help tell the story. I think it'll be fun, and I hope you enjoy it. For example, let's look at my mask for small. This is small. Hello. This is the mask for small. And here is large. And here is small. And the book begins with this. Small was feeling grim and grumpy. Have you ever felt grumpy? Of course, so have I. Everyone feels grumpy sometimes. So small was feeling grim and grumpy. Good grief, said Large. What is the matter? And then Small replied, I'm feeling grim and grumpy, and I don't think you love me at all. Oh, Small, said Large. Grumpy or not, I'll always love you no matter what. And then Small said, hmm, you'll love me no matter what. How about if I were a grumpy grizzly bear? Would you still love me? Would you still care if I were a grizzly bear? Ugh. And Large said, of course, bear or not, I'd always love you, no matter what. And then Small said, but what if I turned into a squishy bug? Would you still love me and give me a hug if I were a squishy bug? And Large said, of course, bug or not, I'd always love you no matter what. And then Small thought about it and Small said, hmm, you'd love me no matter what? said small with a small, what if I were a crocodile? Would you still love me then if I were a crocodile? 
And Large said, here's the picture. If I were a crocodile, I'd still hold you close and snug and tight and tuck you into bed each night, even if you were a crocodile. Yes, I would. And then Small thought about it. And Small said, but does love wear out? Does it break or bend? Can you fix it or patch it? Does love mend? And Large said, yes, it does with time together. A hug and a kiss. Love can be mended with things like this. Sure, love can be mended. And then Small said, but, but what about when you go far away? Does your love go too, or does it stay? And Large said, let's look at the stars. They're far, far away, but their light reaches us at the end of each day. It's like that with love. We may be close, we may be far, but our love still surrounds us wherever we are. Yes, and large said to small, I will love you no matter what. And that's a great book, No Matter What by Debbie Gleoy. That reminds us of Valentine's Day with love. And your parents and grandparents and me will love you no matter what. So very good. Hey. That reminds me of a song, and I bet you know this. Join with me. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning. Let's see, where's the morning? I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. So we'll pretend this is a half moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Hey, join me. Let's try it again. Hey, that's a great Valentine gift. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. And yes, I do. Very, very good. Our next book is called I Love You. It's a rebus poem by Jean Marzolo. And this is a great book for rhyming. And rhyming is very important at this age. Rhyming helps young people hear that words are broken up into smaller pieces. And when they start learning to read, that will help them when they try to read and if they went to cat maybe the next word would be hat so it would just help them decipher so this is a rebus poem which means rebus means pictures so instead of the words there will be a picture for example every bird loves a tree so see every bird loves a tree. So there's not the word tree or bird, but there's the pictures. Every, and see, you're catching on. Every flower loves a bee. Tree, bee, that rhymes. Every lock loves a key. Okay, so there was 
tree, B, key. Hey, they all rhyme. And I love you. And there's the letter U. I love you. Very good. Every sock loves a shoe. Every ghost loves a boo shoe. Boo. Every one loves a two. So what do we have? Shoe, boo, two. They rhyme. And I love you. Very good. Every shovel loves a, and there's, what is that? Now, that picture could be called several things. It could be called a bucket. What's another word for bucket? It could be called a pail. Well, for us to decide if it's a bucket or pail, let's go to the next page. It should rhyme with the last rebus on this page. Every monkey loves a tail. Oh, that helps us. That's tail. So back here, bucket tail, bucket tail. No, that doesn't rhyme. Pail tail. If we call this a pail tail, that rhymes. So every shovel loves a pail. Very good. Every monkey loves a tail. Every wave loves a whale. So we have pale, tail, whale. They all rhyme. And I love you. Excellent. Let's keep going. Every farmer loves a rake. That's a rake. So every farmer loves a rake. Every duck loves a, oh dear, there's another picture that could have several different names. It could be a pond. Or it could be a lake. Oh, wait a minute. Rake, lake. That rhymes. Rake, pond. No. But rake, lake. Right. So we'll say it's lake. Every duck loves a lake. Every candle loves a cake. So we got them all right because we've got rake, lake, cake. And I love you. Excellent. You did a great job of a rebus poem. Very good. Skin a marinky dinky dink. Skin a marinky do. I love you. Very, very good. Well, our last story today will be from this piece of red paper. And I'm going to tell you a story and I'm going to cut as with the story goes along. It's called Sally's Valentine and it was written by our very own children's librarian, Jane Johnston. She's retired now, but Miss Johnston, she told lots of wonderful, wonderful stories, and she wrote this. And I love to do this story every Valentine's Day. It goes like this, Sally's Valentine. Now, Sally was four years old, and Sally had a brother, Sam, who was six years old, and he was in first grade. 
Now, it was almost Valentine's Day, and Sam came home from school so excited. He said, Mom, Sally, today I learned to make my very own Valentine's, and it was so easy. All you have to do is fold, cut up, around, and down, and you'll have a Valentine to give to someone you love. Now, Sally listened to everything her brother Sam said. And Sally's mother and Sam's mother said, oh, that should be easy to remember. So you take a piece of paper, you fold, cut up, around and down, and you have a valentine to give to someone you love. That's great. Well, the next day when Sam went off to school, Sally got a piece of red paper and she got her safety scissors and she went downstairs and sat at the table and told her mother, mother, I'm going to make you a valentine. I'm going to remember everything my brother Sam said. He said to cut up. So she took her scissors and she cut up. She cut up. Ta-da! Surprise, Mama! And when she looked at the paper, so he said, But that's not a heart or a valentine. That's a square. Mother said, now, Sally, remember everything that Sam said. And Sally thought, oh, that's right. He said to fold. So she folded the paper. He said to fold, cut up. That's right. Fold, cut. And so she took her safety scissors. She folded and she cut up said fold and cut up. That's right, I remember now. Surprise, mother! But when she looked, Sally said, why, that's not a valentine. That's a triangle. Mother said, well, remember everything that Sam said. And Sally thought and thought, oh, I know. Fold, that's right, cut up, and then cut down. Oh, that's right. So Sally said, that's right, fold, cut up, and then cut down. Surprise! Oh, when Sally looks at that's not a valentine, that's a kite, or it could be a diamond. That's a kite. Hmm. Mother said, now, Sally, think very, very carefully about what your brother said. So Sally sat for a minute to think, and then she said, right, I know now. So you fold, cut up. He said, fold, cut up, just like that, around and down. That's how it goes. There you go. Still not a valentine. Well, Mother, it, it looks like an ice cream cone. So I guess I can't make a valentine, but I have an ice cream cone. So here's an ice cream cone for you, Mother. And Mother took the ice cream cone, and she said, Well, that's a very nice ice cream cone. I see there's an ice cream cone for me, and there's one for you, too. And when you open it, you have a valentine. Here's a valentine to give to someone I love, and that's you, Sally. And so remember, fold, cut up, around, down, and then open up, and you will have a valentine to give to someone you love. And that's the story of Sally's Valentine. Well, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Come to the Reader's Theater, and you can make this to give to someone. I'll have some other little hearts in there, and you can make several valentines that you can give to whoever you want to. So have a happy Valentine's Day and thank you for joining me today for Library Storytime. See you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>